Hello everybody. If you are interested in getting some very effective life coaching via Skype, send me an email. Consultation's free. And this topic is about how inaccurate we are of um, judging ourselves or assessing ourselves or measuring our progress or believing all the BS that we tell ourselves. It's incredible how easily we deceive ourselves. And one of the nice things about coaching is you have a, an unbiased third party, someone that's objective, that's not a family member, that's not a friend, to who's not worried about hurting your feelings necessarily and will tell you like it is in a gentle, caring way. But it's really, it's a great wake-up call because we go through our lives blinded to a large degree one of the things in in coaching and working with clients and just working with people in general is cutting through their bs we have told ourselves so many stories about why we can't do something we have created so many excuses and rationalizations and set up limitations and like a prison that we can't break out of because these beliefs are so deeply ingrained and what we work on is digging out these weeds figuring out what they are because a lot of people don't even realize that they have all these really self-limiting beliefs that hold them back in progressing in their lives and it's like an onion you peel it layer by layer by layer and you find out what's really going on so if someone says they don't want to Go back to school, for example. They have a fear of going back to school. And they will use the excuse of, I don't have the time, I don't have the money. It's the excuses. And so you look under the excuses and you see what's really going on. And we do that and we peel the layer and then we find out, well, they struggled in school, in high school, or they've had challenges in school before. And it's the, the fear of failure. They're afraid of failing. And that's what's behind it. Or many times people will have goals and I want to accomplish this, I want to do that and all this type of stuff. And so we start mapping out a plan in order to accomplish it. And during the process, they come up with excuses and rationalizations why they are not progressing. And what we are peeling the onion, what we're able to uncover is they don't want to pay the price. That the price and cost of completing the goal it's not worth the sacrifice and especially for people that are future discounters they don't see the value of present sacrifice for a future reward that may or may not happen and then there's the victim uh, a lot of people uh, we, we have to work on is changing their mindset that there's always someone else to blame. Well, it's my parents, it's the government, it's whatever life limitations that I have, and that's what's holding me back. And it really takes time to see the truth. And because the truth can be painful, the truth can be maybe you realize you don't have what it takes to accomplish what you want out of life. And that's hard to swallow. It's much easier to make excuses and rationalizations or put things off or dream about them. That's another big one I see is people dream about all these different goals that they want to accomplish. And it's always in the future. One day I'm going to do this. One day I'm going to do that. And it's really refreshing to get real with yourself. And then you can deal with the true cause of what's causing you or what's the barrier that's separating you from that which you want to accomplish in life. It's a wake-up call. It's a wake-up call. When someone tells you the truth, when, when we're in sessions and I'm telling someone the truth, it might be painful to hear, but you now are able to realize what is at the root of it and you can treat the true cause instead of getting the smoke screen getting sidetracked by things that you believe are causing you or preventing you from accomplishing what you want out of life and that's what sets people free is having is freedom is the truth and realizing 
man, I've been lying to myself for so many years. And lying has been so commonplace. It's just, it's um, prevalent in every every area. People don't want, I'm afraid of hurting other people's feelings. I can't tell the truth. And we've, it's sad because lying has become so common that we just think it's normal. And it's really important to examine what you say to yourself because what you say to yourself is the input you give your brain and the input you give your brain is what you act upon and to cut through all that and get down to to the reality of the situation is is liberating it's tough but it's it's definitely liberating all right, so um, thank you for listening. One of the things that I recommend doing is writing down some of your beliefs, listening to some of the, your excuses, like listening to you yourself talking. When I'm talking with people and some of the things they say, i like, do you realize what you're saying or what you're doing uh, with, with those excuses or rationalizations or that you're not really telling the truth? People don't realize it, and it's time to do some... Uh, it's helpful to do some really hardcore self-examination and even having other people hold you accountable uh, as to what you say and getting down to the truth. Because the truth is really much deeper than the surface that we mostly live upon. Okay, uh, appreciate your subscriptions, comments, and thank you very much for watching. And feel free to shoot me an email uh, up in the description. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.